might be a YouTube gameplay too. What's going on YouTube? This is a weekend league game versus Evil Ken. I'm sure I've had one before against him. But um, this is obviously a live comp. And I think this is my 10th weekend league game. This game, we're going to be trying out uh, Playmaker. It just came out today. I just switched to Jets 50 earlier today as well. I don't even have a full 50. I'll show you my team after this game. Or, you know, some, some edit it in somewhere. We're good, though. Just play good O. We'll get a couple stops. I'm going to put Keyshawn on this dig fork. And hopefully we have enough time. I'm just going to dump down because I got shedded. Guys, I really don't think Playmaker is really that great versus man. So, you know, if you don't see any Playmakers in this game, you know why. Uh, I mean, I have a really crazy speed advantage. I mean, I should. He's 98 speed. Um, I'm trying to go deep to him right here. And look at that. That KO just bagged him. I took too many steps behind the pocket. Um, back in the pocket and then that's why I sailed the throw. I'm not mad at that That's insane that Rondé Barber is even like that I'm Trying to hit this flat right here guys Evan Ingram on that flat um, Evan Ingram is a dog. That's not even the full one either He's blitzing again Can I make that throw? I'm gonna have to ag it that's a terrible read. He had Dick Fork actually toasted him, and then I just threw it on the run. Thinking I could do that with sideline dead eye. You just can't. It's not Madden 20. It was really honestly not that great of a read. But, I mean, the throw was kind of bad. I could have agged it. But then again, that's Elijah Moore. He has, like, shitty, really, really bad route running. After the interception, here's Marino. Sapoka. Okay, this is going to be a strike, bro. First and ten too. Give me that shit. That's Cam Chancellor. I definitely need seven right here. If Dan Marino catches me, I don't know what to say. He was low key making ground, but this is like my first day user in Cam Chancellor. And man, he is he is move. Um, when I get full Jamal Adams, I will have Cam and Jamal there. So you know, I feel like those users are really really good. But right there, Cam just got up there. I had him playing cornerback before in my Raiders theme team. But with Jets, um, and not even Jets, um, there's just been so many new cornerbacks added. I have, like, Denzel Ward out there. Horn came out a little while ago. I have him still in the slot or playing outside. And then I still need to get Dion. He's only 96 speed somehow. Like, that's kind of crazy for Dion. That's very low in my opinion um, compared to some of these other guys. But he makes crazy plays in zone coverage. Right there, great pressure. He had Loki um, that crosser splitting the seam. Yeah, that too. Randy Moss being that. So I don't know what they did with those like goats legends, but you know it is what it is. Right here, I'm gonna use her Jamal. Like I said, this is not full Jamal. He's only 95 speed, but um, you know I feel like I could still make plays. Right there, Cam getting a huge hit stick. I mean, he's a mutt master for a reason, and he's going no huddle again. Um, same thing again, man. I'm just trying to get some pressure. Thankfully for us, he hasn't been running the ball. That's a mid zone. I wanted that to be a knockout, but, I mean, he gets a possession catch right in front of our face. It is what it is. Um, you know, I'm going to mix up some coverage now because he's been kind of, you know, expecting this blitz to come in a lot. And there we go. That's fine. Hopefully, uh, Marcus May on the left could jump out to the left side fast enough. And if he doesn't, it is what it is. He's right here. He has Gronk on a crosser. Great defense all around. I don't know why Ronnie Lott didn't send. That should have been gain of zero yards. Instead, it's five. His play action is actually doing a really, really good job of picking up this heat. Um, you know, throughout this game, I'm definitely going to start sending, like, that extra person. As right here, we're going to try it, man. We are going to try it. Hopefully, it goes our way. Um, I don't know, man. This, this is really aggressive defense. And now, you know... I, I like to look better a little bit. He's obviously moving that guy out for a reason to put him on a chem or, you know, a post or something. He's right here. Another easy dot. That's fine by me. Um, hopefully we can hold D in the red zone. Good in route dot. He has just way too much time for that. He sent out five. And my loop are getting loop in. Definitely got to get that, that full Marcus May or even like Troy Palomalu. One thing I can respect is he is not running. You know, I would be definitely running. 
right here. Left side is going to be wide open, unfortunately. Uh, I couldn't get my hard flat down. And of course, I've been having trouble making tackles even on like Thurman Thomas, who's just not even a good running back. I just can't make tackles. Good dot, I guess. Uh, I just can't give any pressure to come in. We're good, though. He gets ball half. 100% need to score right here. This play should be good for me. I mean, he has a KO on Dion. So, that's that. Uh, but I'm still going to throw it. And Dion almost picked that off. I mean, I mean, I have 99 speed on that guy. So, you know, that's going to be open. He kind of just went underneath. I believe he shades underneath. I don't know what shade they do, but it, it kind of bagged that right there. I just got over the top of him. That could have definitely been a touchdown. I could have had a little better stick on that. Just in general, you don't want to rely on running. Like right there, only got two yards when it looks wide open. And how often am I going to get that look? Only getting two yards on that is kind of wild. Like, look at that. You want to run versus that look? Go ahead, man. I don't, I'm not going to run, man. Right there, Evan Ingram wide open. This probably can be a touchdown. And we step out at the three. Not the worst thing. Definitely got a score right here. And I don't have any red zone backs. That's one thing uh, about my team right now. I don't have like a LeGarrette Blunt. I mean, Marshawn Lynch is cool, but, you know, I don't think he's all that great. You really just need someone that could air truck. What's that, uh, Strap? Damn, he really went for two, bro. Two minutes even and what's been a tight first half. 8-7, our score. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that. Hopefully Curtis Martin could get us in, man. It would be very annoying if we couldn't score. That's not a great start, losing six. Or losing three yards right there. This looks like three, four odd guys. And it is. Can we get to the touchdown marker? No, we can't. Um, that could have been a lot worse than it looked. I mean, that was like what? Sasquatch, I want to say. Almost baited me, honestly. We'll take it, though. We took one time out away. We definitely got a score right here. And I probably will end up going for it. I mean, I don't know, man. This is where you need Blunt. This is where you need Bulldozer or, like, Tank or something like that. Whatever the ability that is right here. He wasn't even positioned to shoot the gap, and he still did. Dang, bro. Right here, guys. Hopefully, we can score. I think he's going to send everyone again. And he gets an A gap. We get a little blessed. Um, I don't know what that was. But he got an A gap. I had to throw something. Better to throw something than get sacked. So, you know, we take the lead. He only has one time out. Let's lock up right, real quick because he does get ball a half. Right here, I'm going with a little bit of coverage. Um, I, my main priority is the middle of the field. And everything looks kind of caged. I wish I had Akron on my user. I wish I had a full Jamal Adams because, trust me, I would have snapped on that and picked that off again. But, you know, so far, you know, we're all right. We're all right. Oh, we get an Acro, but he still dots us. I'm not too mad at that because that's a cover three cloud look. Um, I'm definitely not mad at that because, you know, that's technically open right here. We're just so close with our user, but we're not there. He's going to get three. Um, it is what it is. You know, he threw in coverage. I could have made a play with Bryce Hall. But, you know, he's an 89 overall for a reason. Or is he even 89? Is he like an 86 or something? Whatever overall he is, he's not like a crazy high overall. So, it is what it is. I'm definitely sending the heat right here, guys. You know, you never know. We could get a little lucky. Um, just watch out for the seam streak, really. Just watch out. I have a deep half right there. He might play it. Sending the heat. That's fine by me. Make a good tackle. I could have jumped to the left side, but, you know, I didn't want to get bombed or something. I should have probably put a hard flat out there, maybe. It is what it is. We're up three going in half. We could get a stop again. You know, I'm fine with this. We just got to guard the big play. I should have put him in a hard flat. That's on me. I don't think he would have guarded it too well, but it's worth a shot. I mean, how many times is this dude going to throw into my coverage? Like, I have a mid zone. I have an acro. And he's still just, you know what? I'm just going to keep throwing it. Uh, that's like the third, second or third time he's done that. I'm kind of starting to get a little annoyed now. 
Because that's just not it. And that's a dot. My inside third just had no chance. He went no huddle and got me. And that's why I didn't want to run match. I mean, I could have got a stop, definitely, but ends up going into coverage, no huddling, and throwing a dot. That has to be a pick, bro. It's the second time in, like, literally five minutes once in this game. It's just not good versus man, the honest truth. And he just screamed right there. That was kind of obvious the way he hovered. I was trying to throw my flat, but he got bumped. And I don't know. It just didn't look clean. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Another try after the first down sack. Allen. Okay, right there. Good, good usage of the playmaker. Did I have R1 open, man? I'm going to be sick if I look back and I had R1 open. I got tunnel vision right there. I think I had R1 open. Good dot. Good catch right there by Keyshawn. I racked that, so, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't a guarantee that I was going to catch it. So, I mean, that's literally the, the new item that came out today. Big frame. Definitely boxed him out right there. 98 speed as well. That was a waste play. I shouldn't have ran right there. I want to go deep again, man. I'm going to have to try to go deep right here. This is Rondé Barber versus Keyshawn Johnson. I know I don't have any abilities on that besides uh, outside apprentice, but got to give it a shot, man. Definitely got to give it a shot. See if I could get something. And right there, I believe we have him. We have sideline data as well. So I should have A caught it. Uh, I know he has knockouts right there. That's annoying, but you know, I'm not mad at it. I thought I could definitely get a rack for a touchdown. I hate being down, being stuck down there. Going back to the same play again, it looks like he's blitzing, and he does. And boom, easy dot right there. End up getting the first. Got a lot of time. That was just a good play, but you know, depending on how much time I was going to get, we got enough time to throw the dot uh, earlier in the game, going for two. But you know, this run looks nice. I'm definitely going to go back to it on the first play of the fourth quarter. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game. Definitely don't want him getting the ball back. I mean, his drives have been semi clean, um, but the no huddle really is annoying. And then I haven't played this like this trio, whatever he's running. I know I can run wide maybe, but the last time I played him, he ran wide. I ran wide and he dotted it up. And I ID Mike Edwards. Um, just run it again, man. Just run it again. And, you know, same thing. Good yards. I kind of, I'm kind of in no man's land right here, guys. Um. It's going to be tough to clock out, but I'm going to try my best to do it. And we are going to have to score in the red zone, which is going to be annoying and tough. Um, if I have someone faster right there, I definitely could bounce that out, maybe score. But it is what it is. We'll just keep living for these yards. You know, I'll take that, man. I'll take four yards of pop right here, right now. See, I have two clock on. I'm going to be calling these plays under five seconds. You know, I'm not going to let it go all the way to one. It might definitely get obvious. But he is having trouble stopping this run. And if that's 30 inches, that's perfect. And we get the first. I'm not mad at that either because, you know, sometimes on third down you get a little fluky stop. And, you know, I don't want to be on a fourth down right now. And this run is definitely gashing this. So, you know, I just had to get out by bunch form, find a different run. Um, you know, I feel like I could dot it up easily, but down here it gets a little tight. The windows, you know, aren't, you know, too open. And he has KOs everywhere too, so rather just, you know, not take any risks on that. Just run the ball. If it's there, it's there, it's there. Right there once more. It's looking really good. I think he's run committing now, honestly, which I'm fine with. I definitely want to pass right here, but I know it, it screams crazy, so we'll just have to see. And he completely whipped on that gap shoot. We're going to take our touchdown and try to lock up. I definitely could have clocked him out, but, you know, it's no guarantee that I'm going to score down there. 
Three timeouts, a minute 30 in this year's game is a lot of time. And, you know, if he even has a good kicker, maybe some win, he probably just needs to get to, like, the 43-yard line to be able to tie it up. Get crazy on D. Adjust. I'll try. I'll definitely try. I'm definitely going to have to lock up. I haven't. I felt like I haven't been playing crazy bad defense, but the form he runs probably like counters my form really, really well type of thing. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. At least he's not running. He probably might run right here. Don't be. Uh, don't expect him not to right here. It'd be smart to run a couple times. Maybe not on first down, but you know. Coming up. This is um his name is Evil Ken. You probably may have heard of him before. Crazy D. I wish I could have got a shed, a sack, fluky something right there, disengage. Because you know, I was actually just a really good guess on defense. And he ends up being able to throw it away. I just sent like five right there too. Not too mad at it. You know, it is what it is. Live for another play. Another down. A little send to action right here. I'm scared for the seams. Just got to run vertical. And I don't know where my perp was, if I even had one on the field. Because it was nowhere to be found. But thankfully, he only ends up getting, like, what, five yards? I don't, I don't like Dalek too much, man. Get that pressure right there. Break D. And if he goes no huddle, I'm going to have to call a timeout. Wait an extra second, wait an extra second, wait an extra second, call a timeout. I could have probably waited a couple more seconds as well. House playmaker is really not that great, if I'm going to be real. I have a 20 out there on the left. If he has Gronk on his streak, so be it, man. You know, the Gronk isn't fast. If I could get Fluky Shed, that's a good dot, man. Oh, my God. He had, like, three crossers on the field. Good dot. I really – I had a 10 hook. I thought I could play that. I probably should have set it to 15. And I moved my thirds inside the – or my quarters in the box. That's tough, man. I thought I could get a shed or something. We haven't lost yet, and we could still definitely win. He might start running here, though. It would be smart of him to do so. Here's Marino. And the one time he has a streak on the field. Oh, man. What are the odds, man? The one time he has a streak on the field is the one time I put, like, safety in a hook. But we got 48 seconds. We can easily get seven. Yeah, that's a lot of time. It's really not because this amount right here, I'm going to have to take off and get my, my, my five yards. This might be a little too, uh, a little scary with the time because I'm telling you, these co these corners are bagging a lot of my um, just everything. You know, I have a lot of fast guys out here, and they're just it's bagging all these uh, all this speed, 99 speed, 98 speed out here. And right there, Keyshawn just gets a crazy beat, the press release, and we're gonna rock this. Rondé catches us, man. I could have probably went down, but I need a touchdown. That's Keyshawn Johnson, 98 speed, no playmaker. I can't believe he just pressed him like that with that much time left. That's the one bad thing about man. Like, one bad play your man coverage defender has, you know, it could just affect the game. But, I mean, he still has plenty of time, two timeouts. I feel like, I don't know, man. It's tough to stop this form. Just one sack and we end the game. Keyshawn absolutely shit on Rondé right there. That was even the best route combo. I probably should just quick hike verts. I mean, he just left them open. Let me find out. I could have done this this whole time, bro, and I would have just won in the first quarter. I mean, how much time is he going to get? That's not the worst thing. But man, where is the sheds? Where is the pressure? Where are the sheds and where is the pressure? I do not know. They'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. I'm running the same D again. I guess I had to engage with the O line this time. I don't know what he's cooking up, man, but please scream, please shed. Throwing here, Marino. And that's game right there. Cam, two for two. We're gonna run this back into the end zone. Because why not? And we're going to just jump into the end zone. Do your daily objectives. If you don't have cam by now, I don't know what to say. GG's in the chat. That was a nice dub.
because you know I, I feel like he's been beating a lot of people and he beat me the last time we played but obviously this was the weekend league uh, game probably more important than head to head and we still stay alive I think we're 10 to know Thank mm -hmm. you.